What's up, guys? This is the Rifleman, and I am back to bring you to the next Empire Total War episode as Poland. And in this episode, uh, we are attacking the Syrian capital of Damascus, and it's yet another nail in the coffin for the Ottoman Empire. So our armies are a bit depleted, but their force is pretty weak, so we should be okay. So let's get cracking. Uh, so I think, well, we've got uh, forces around. Well, we, 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 are, we can attack, or have attacked Baghdad. We're now attacking Damascus. We've got Ardabil to the north against Persia. Um, but, but depending on how things go, the army in Baghdad may just move swiftly east towards Esfahan and attack Persia. Because I think Persia will... If we take out those two territories, Persia will disappear and their remaining territories will become Afghanistan, which could be an interesting... Um, buffer against the Maratha Confederacy. Uh, ooh, fighting in the town. No, 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 no. No, sir. Not a great piece of uh, ground for my artillery, but we will move them up with us. Ultimately, we're going to move... I'm not going to break everybody out into different size units just yet. My mighty wing of cavalry are going to move up the right flank. General Field Marshal is going to go with them. Okay, just let my howitzers shoot normally. Just want to try and get my guys to move up to here as quickly as possible. My guns is probably the best spot, it's probably out here on the flank. Make sure my howitzers are... They're in range to do some carcass shot damage, then that'll be great. Just because it'll speed things up a little bit more. Okay, so you guys... Let's see, very unfortunate for you. Okay, let's start form our line more intelligently. Ooh, what do you see? Keep that line shrink as the artillery uh, tore home. Killed my guys. So we're going to stretch out a little bit further along the flank than we thought because they got the, mercy, the um, Islamic swordsman here. If you want to go for my artillery or my cavalry, they are welcome. To be honest, let's just go in and have them now. Grand cavalry fire at will. Off! How about them? Okay, so because we're dealing with the Engage there, might have lost a few men, like a few men to friendly fire, but we've got rid of the garrison like a swordsman, that's okay. You men are limber. Carcass shots coming in and doing the business. Let me see if I can get my cavalry to whip around the flank. To me, my heavy horse guard artillery is unlimbering. Didn't want to need a wing to start to go all the way around. Kamloops, move in. The yeah, unpopular are the ones that are sticking around. Artilleries. Oh, my uh, heavy horse guard artillery is engaging the, the cannons. The artillery, everybody, ceasefire. 
the arm populace are down. Nice. Could chase down, that's a bit unnecessary. But a good victory nonetheless. Right, so. Damascus is, is ours. There's that chap to the north. Let's move you a bit further south. Okay, let's try and focus on... Hmm, try and replenish first, actually. So we can repair the military building, or the, uh, the, the army production building. Not anything else, that's okay. So you're going to replenish. Uh, we have yeah, your sieging Arda bill. You've got Baghdad. We have this army that should be nearly finished recruiting soon. Now they can be sent. Oh, I mean you. Oh, you, sorry. I thought we had one that was ready. You're going to redeploy and... Do you go for a cheek? Can you go for... Oh, no, you can't go for Cairo. But you can go for a cheeky amphibious assault on Jerusalem. Oh, there's troops nearby. Are you going to stop us? Oh, yeah, we could actually definitely make this an assault, actually. Do we do that? I think you're probably better off to try and get a, a, a turn of attrition on them. If we defend, we don't have to worry about their mortars. They're probably just going to... You could 100% attack this, but I think I'm just going to let it sit. Just because I don't think there's a... We haven't got, got a pressing rush to get that done. So when this army's ready, I think they're probably going to try land on land here and try and take Cairo. Because that, be, that will be the end of the Ottomans. Let's hit end turn. Because again, I'm, I'm also just trying to sit there and siege Ardabil. Fly by rank for a thousand. No way. Not letting you get that technology for a, for a cool grand. You can research it yourself. Opportunity to intercept. Um, I want to see where they go. Oh, they're just going to go and attack our... Fleet, fair enough. Oh no, not my, not my light galley. They captured it, but they won't have it for long. There we go. This is what we wanted. The garrisons have come out and attack us. We've got we're going to have some chaps coming in from the rear, so we need to bear that in mind. Good, good, good. But yeah, once we attack the, we'll take out the Ottomans, then push towards Persia. And to be honest, we're gonna be very close towards the end of this campaign. We'll reach, we'll be, we are soon going to be reaching our uh, campaign objectives. Because we aren't going to be, <laughs> yeah, because because this isn't going to be a true world domination. We, you know, when we held the vote, it's going to be a um, a a more traditional world domination. Um, I'm going to go over here because I'm anticipating we're just going to get attacked in the rear. It also means we get this really tasty high ground. So you're going to sit above the above the line. Okay. Set up my line. Some 24 pounders in there. Then two units, remaining 24 pounder, so we've got line infantry guards, grenadier guards, again I don't like defending walls with my my like main line units once we've got fire by rank because fire by rank is just so damn good, make sure you guys are, are on the top of the ridge line. Our skirmishes are going to deploy on the flank and they're going to place stakes. We have one more unit of line to deploy. Very well, something like this. Get some cavalry sitting here on the flank, some cavalry on the left, on the high ground, general in the centre. 
Your marshal in the centre. Now it's his dumping carcass shot. Yeah, there they are. Okay, they wouldn't have come in quite behind us, but that's where they would have been. What are you shooting at with carcass shot? Oh, Janissary Musketeers out here. I might keep you on carcass shot as well. Let's speed up time just allow just to allow the Ottoman forces to march more into range. So you just clipped the core on that formation, got 20 guys. Oh, here comes the heavy horse howitzer. Good hits. Good. Knocked a good hole right through the center. Did that get their officers? I think we've got their officer. Nope, that's pretty good. Okay, the Mamelukes. My my artillery is going to engage them. Where is my my light infantry on the flank? Deploy your stakes. So what artillery is shooting at us? Their howitzers are shooting at us. Interesting. Let's angle this line back a little bit. And let's probably bring Trabant cavalry over here as well. Because it looks like that is going to be the it's gonna be the trickier flank. Again, it's, it's raining, it's hampering our ability to see. Water crews have abandoned their guns at least. Going after my marines. These gunners go for some of these garrison swordsmen. They are advancing forward. Let's maybe do a bit of this. Janice Musketeers, they're at about half strength. More to crews are coming in. Make sure my howitzers are aiming at other targets. of artillery fire. Here comes my Trabant cavalry. Let's get them fire at will. Oh. There we go. First waves coming in. Well, they might actually make it because my guys have, re have loaded and fired against the other unit. So while well, my marines reload, they whiffed all of their shots. <laughs> the one-on-one, -on -one. the mortar crewman versus a marine. That's what I'm gonna say that should should only go one way. Populous, giant streamers, kakiers, musulim, camel gunners. Okay, let's give some... Give some other targets. So my heavy cavalry is going to deploy to deal with the arm... With the um, musulim... With the um, swordsmen, I should say. 
Mamelukes charge my cavalry. Charge my, charge my artillery, rather. Man your guns. I'm only going to follow them up with my Trabant cavalry. Just to provide a bit of cover. Shrapnel shot. Are there any cavalry gunners? Trabant cavalry is coming in against the Slamming Swordsmen. They're just quite good melee units. We want to just, we just want to really want to make sure we deal with them. Okay, Azars, get out here, charge the unit of Azars. Right flank still currently relatively untouched, but they're speeding up. Gunners reduce its retarget. To hit the Azars, are they shattered? They are. They okay, bring my heavy cavalry further in. Keep killing the Azar. The gun lines repulsed, almost repulsed to the. The troops on this wing. So now it's this other this threat coming in. Skirmishers. Push forward. Now let's fire a retarget. Oh, they're shattered. Okay, right. Let's. Hey, all my gunners, really, you just all need to focus on the Delhi horsemen towards the rear. Then once we're ready, we'll make a breach and storm our cavalry in, although it looks like. Actually, you guys probably yeah, maintain your over here, because they're going to try and get some cheap shots against my hussars. One cavalry are in, winged hussars charge into the flank of those garrisonists are really. Not many kills. I guess my cavalry are tired. They are. So they're going to put a volley into our cavalry combat. Come on, carcass shot. Good hit. Fired your volley, that's enough. Garrison's having swordsmen are pushing in. I might actually get my this artillery to focus on the breach. You advance forward a bit to help support the current of the guards. Okay, my cavalry are blown. Get out of there. Kill the weaken the Israeli. Get out of there. What well, didn't I did not spot pelts in the back? This is sick. Let's just start dropping some shells in on them. Ooh, artillery is going to try and come out, eh? Commit my light to Sar guards. Polish Sar guards. They're going to mop up the fire infantry guards just to make sure they do great. Then they're going to go after the artillery at the back. So. Gunners retarget. There you go. 
So this wing, hold fire. Just allow my light cavalry just to sweep over them and shatter them. Which they have done. Very well. Charge on to the artillery. These units are all that remain. Oh, it says fire. Ah, too close. Yeah, they're all, they all made it too close. Oh, 103rd. Okay, the U-men are going to advance. Towards the flank. The enemy garrison is scattered. Third order. Whoops, sneeze. Right, the yeah, unpopular is still in. These two units are going to break, surely. Our three ceasefire. There we go. Push forward a little bit more. You're going to kill the general over here in a minute. Kill the officer. Kill the commander. Is that him? No, that wasn't him. Got him. Nice. And we're still just. Yeah, this garrison's done. Nice. So that is. Well, that's Jerusalem. So we soon, we've soon captured that historical city. You have, you've been pushed back towards Cairo. Got some raiders to the north. That's to be expected. The Ottomans are going to continue trying to steal our technology. Not that it's going to really help them. It's not going to help them at all. The Marath has just carried, captured Akbarabad. I saw that flip. So potentially, that might be the end of the Mughal Empire. Persia's coming to try and do some, try and blockade our ports, but I don't think that's going to really make much difference to us now. Right. Trade route raided. Trade gained. The Mughal Empire destroyed. Marath has owned all of continental India. Raids. Okay, let's just use this fragment of an army. Just keep chasing them. We've got some cavalry and infantry that are going to go north. Cool. Uh, we were about to be won that battle there, so I'm prone to man the surrender. No, just capture it to effectively destroy their forces in the last battle anyway. Right, you guys are going to replenish. Build a trading port. Upgrade you to a shipyard. Upgrade the mine. Build some garrison ships. Okay, should this be you? It is you. Right, you go down to Odessa. You're going to board a ship. It wasn't really a fleet, was it? Come on now. Okay, let's repair the last of these buildings in Damascus. Make sure you're replenishing properly. Good, good, good. Get some repairs here. Okay, you're fully replenished, so you're going to just start recruiting additional troops just to act as a bit of a garrison. Okay, then we are. Oh, no, they're still, still want you to replenish. 
upgrade the cotton plantation, upgrade the port. We probably want to make sure road upgrades are high on our agenda everywhere. It does help the um, raiders run around and rebel, but in case we research quickline, I mean, on to shrapnel shot. We have a rake in Ukraine. You join this army. We have a Catholic missionary in Brandenburg. Kind of the wrong end of my empire. Just give you a long walk order. Okay, let's go. Get some upgrades here. So Armenia is protected, always fortified. A fur trapper in Finland. Oh, we don't have any money to do that. But yeah, if I was the Ottomans, I'd be concerned. They've got one city left. Uh, yeah, upgrade the Ordnance Factory. Well, actually, we've probably got some farm that can be upgraded somewhere. Or oh, Jesuit colleges. Ah, farm. Let's have a look. There's only one cheap farm upgrade we can get. Or replenish these guys, because they have taken a bit of damage. Cool. Okay. Because it is only the the 840-ish farm upgrades that we can actually buy. Gold mine we can replenish. Do that. New guy, or re repair, sorry, then replenish this force, these forces down here. Okay, let's recruit some more auxiliaries. Okay. Let's hit end turn. Britain's gathering an army. And the Ottomans have been at a hell of a loose end this entire campaign. Oh, most of the Ottomans, Ottoman strength is falling back towards Cairo. You have raiders are still up, are, are up and ready to cause some trouble. The Russian fleet. What are you up to? Ah. Right away. The French are on the border with me, so anything you can do to frustrate their efforts is good for me. The Persian fleet is on the way. As are their agents trying to steal our precious technology. You're up to, Corlin. Corlin hasn't really done much for us this campaign. Well, I suppose it's just another useful state. Ooh, Romania. Get down here and convert Greece. You haven't been doing any of that this entire campaign. Agent recruited. Catholic missionary in Anatolia. Get down to Jerusalem. Another one in Moldavia. You're going to join this army. Oh, <laughs> it's picked up the uh, picked up the agent instead of the army. Okay, hop in. I said hop in. They go next turn. They'll be landing. Try and attack Pyro. This force just attack the raiders. Yeah. Oh my god! At least we have chased them near the garrison. Destroyed. Okay, you guys might actually go up to push up to here to just in case Georgia gets any ideas. Let's so replenish, replenish, replenish. Um, we're in great shape. 
So can you leave? You can leave. How nice. So there's our garrison. I was kind of worried about the Ottoman troops near Damascus coming east across the desert, but apparently they don't want to do that. So, Stefan, march on to Esfahan. Okay, so if you guys can come out of Damascus, just attack Sejali Barad. That's the a small fragment of a army isn't worth the time. Okay, you guys are all up and ready. What are you? Push towards Cairo. Get some upgrades going. Get a lat upgrade to a church school. Okay, Armenia. Get better roads. I mean, we always wanted Ukraine to be strong to deal with any Russian attack. I wonder why that's why that's relevant now. Uh, Slava Ukraini. Right. Okay, just keep upgrading the industry. We've run out of cash. 1799. 1779 rather. This army's at full strength. Let's go for the garrison at Ardabil. Let's capture one of Persia's key cities. Next turn we're going to be able to attack Esfahan and Cairo at the same time. And those are two major settlements and they, that will cause the destruction of the two major um, Middle Eastern factions in Empire Total War. They will belong to us. Let's get kicking. Okay. Gunners deploy on the high ground. So we can't advance straight up into them. We have to go around in two directions. Okay, let's try some flanking maneuvers. Roughly five units in each flank. My skirmishers and grenadiers, they're going to sit in the middle and they're going to go to whichever flank either needs support or can be used to. Actually, I might put my. Split my pikes and grenadiers out to deploy to melee on either side, and it's the line infantry and the Albanian warband that's going to provide cover to whichever, whichever side needs it. Oh, they're all just at the back anyway. Very well. Advance up to there at speed. So I think this is the the most direct front. So you want to push up quickly. These units get over and support this flank. My grenadiers. Well, this is the unit. This is the army that's going to be probably trying to push forward and flank through the town. This is my anvil. Okay, where's my dragoons? Okay, get you up here. Let's bring sure my dragoon. Bring my dragoons over here, just in case the horsemen try and go for my artillery. How it's a fire has started. Going after the 32nd. My foot artillery did some work. To. This line's going to advance. Camel Nomads coming in. Oh, they 
weren't charging. These units scamper along onto the flank, provide some extra firepower. I'm happy that my artillery just keep pounding back here because they seem to be that's where they seem to be massing. You guys advance up to about here. Charge the levy as they're trying to charge our cavalry first. The elite second lancers don't like the sound of that. Push on, push through them. Okay, so that's effectively this line of resistance has been. Annihilated. Advance. My pipes are going to be up on the left. They're going to be fighting in the town. Okay, start to try. Get control over some of these choke points. Straight up here. Grenadiers, I get up to about here. charge the arm populace because they're, they're right up in our faces already. Push forward, both my pipes. There they are. They want those sweet, sweet crumble givers. So you can get into the tree, get into the um, get into the town, grenadiers get into the town. Grenadiers actually take capture the town hall. Chase down, yep, chase down the mortar troops. The Lancers hit this order. No, there's no no requirement to, to catch the town hall. Now we have the advantage. We surround the enemy. There we go. Broken one unit, chased down the other Feline Musketeer unit. This unit chased down the General's bodyguard. Okay, get over here and back up. Back up your comrades. Yeah, everything else is big. Everything else is dead to right. You charge in the rear of these fella in. Lots of friendly fire. And this infantry. No.
Kill the general's bodyguard cavalrymen. Kill the general. Ah well. Victory is ours. See yeah. I always find city battles just to be a bit wee bit clunky. So that's Arda built secured. Yeah, we don't see any Persian troops on the horizon to worry about. Attacking general. Plus one to an attacking on land. Polish heritage. Plus one to defending. Plus three morale. Plus one attacking. Plus one command. This guy's just great. Although he moves slower <laughs> when fighting the Ottomans, but he gains extra command when fighting the Ottomans. Very nice. Right, we have one piece of gold left in our treasury. Let's hit end turn. More recruitment is ongoing. Uh, fly by rank. I didn't accept it for a thousand, so I'm not going to accept it now. Spain is going to attack the Barbary states by the looks of things. They're marching through. Oh no, they've got their own tunis, so they might just be reinforcing their holdings without needing to sail by ship. As, as opposed to sailing by land. Well, I suppose. What are cars but ships of the sea? Ships of the land. Oh well. Anyway, digress. Yes, New Spain's bringing more Catholicism to the to the Americas. Good for us. But you're going to come try and steal our technology, Persia, are you? It's not going to work, boyo. Oh no, next turn we're not going to be in range of Cairo because we're going to be. It's going to take one turn to land the army, one turn to attack, unless they've abandoned the port. Which I don't think they will have done. Well, then again, a bunch of Ottoman ships did sail west, so perhaps. Perhaps that will happen. Rake in Sweden. Just entirely not necessary. I suppose go up towards Petrovskaya. Lulia in Sweden. Good. Give you a craft workshop. New port emerges. Sinop in Anatolia. Research secular humanism. Good, good, good. We haven't even got a lot of the top tier economic buildings yet. Okay, great. The palatial estate. Fur market. Keep sinking some money into the Americas. They are still worth good money. Palestine's got port. Let's recruit ship to garrison it. You're just out of reach. You men, garrison, garrison Gaza. Okay. To be honest, the Barbary states, the hostile, the protector of the Ottomans, we could just sail this army to go destroy the Barbary states. You want to go with them, and that's actually going to be a yes. Swap out one unit of infantry for one howitzer unit. This unit of infantry bolst. Yes, see. Okay, everybody embark. Including both of the agents. Sail to about here. Diplomacy, Barbary states. Declare war. Don't call our allies. Oh, we might be able just to... Uh, 
Uh, the roads are poor. It will take multiple turns. So we may, so that's, we may as well just land outside of the city. Even my Asian can do it. Okay, makes no sense. But whatever. Trait gained lewd. One of my gentlemen is now lewd. Can upgrade this. Just make sure the infrastructure is firing on all cylinders. Nice. Now, Stefan. <laughs> Let us attack and destroy Esfahan, which is all dervishes. Or effectively all dervishes. Let's do this. Let's take the Persian capital. The Ottomans can wait till next episode. But yeah, we are rapidly barreling our way towards the end of this campaign. <laughs> Especially this episode. How many cities have we captured? This will be four in one episode. Damascus, Jerusalem, Nardabil, Esfahan, yeah. <laughs> Ooh, that's as unpromising. Oh, okay, right. So the enemy does have mortars, so we're going to want to deal with them. But we've got lots of artillery ourselves. And we can actually try and deploy them in a bit of a defilade. We should be able to clear that. If not, we'll soon find out. Something like that. You go for a corner section, you go for this section. How it says, quick climb. Try get some quick climb shots in the center. Don't reach because they're too far back. We could advance them instead. I'm going to use round shot. Let's get away in. He's going to fire a round shot, so we'll get some good kills. Reload! Chills away. Yeah, so he has still a good amount of kills per shot. Obviously it's not quick line worthy. I do want you to be aiming more. Get specifically picked for General's bodyguard. So the shells will be landing in here. Build a few of their soldiers on the wall. Ultimately, what we're going to do is we're going to create a breach, trap them around it, make like we're trying to assault the wall, and then slaughter them as they charge the dervishes out. Yeah, see, Ramshot's still doing the business. And that unit of dervishes alone are down by 20. Units down by 30, there's another unit down by 50. See, gained a little experience, Chevron doing that. What I'm really curious to see, the other how it's just got experience got an experience chevron too. What I'm really interested to see is is will the Foot artillery retarget the center automatically once they've done this. Once this area's collapsed. Yeah, 
I shoot him with something. You don't need quick clone. You, need, you don't need quick clone to annihilate centre like that. Okay, let's advance the line forward. Actually, our cavalry, artillery, cavalry don't push forward yet. I want my. I want the infantry to hoover up the uh, howitzer fire. And let's make them run. Because we can. Running in the desert's not hard. What is it? Hot or something? Ha 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 ha! There we go. Mortar fires open up. So, all this artillery just slam shells into that section there. So really, okay. set up our line. Well, I was going to say we don't need to worry about defending the breach because it's just full of cavalry. We don't have to worry about defending the gates because it's usually cavalry that respond, but no, they can respond with an awful lot of. Okay, new men try and scale the walls. New men try to scale the wall in front of the gate. New men try to scale the wall here. If they want to push their cavalry out of the right hand gate, they can feel free. This unit's going to sit here and cover the gatehouse there. Yeah, they've oh, it's done some good work here as well. Okay, artillery to the attack ground. filings towards the magnet. Taking this a huge amount, so let's see if I can just get you to attack. There we go, the gates are ours. So I want these irregulars. Take position atop the gates, the warband to take position atop of this gate. My marines just defend this corner. Yikes, no. Actually, yeah, you can do that. I thought they were going to try and run in, but no, they're going to... Well, they are going to try and run in, but no. They want them to run in, not want to run up the steps. Cover in here, get my winged sails in here. Okay, 
Grenadiers for the breach. Building lost. It's probably this one. Yeah. people in. Storm in. Wings of Thales ignore the camels. Go for the men in the centre. The Trabant cavalry can get bogged down in the centre if they want. My lancers can also get in. Get your regulars, just run away. You have new orders. There we go. So some units, there's not enough of them. Ah, there we go. Sometimes the enemy units will just kind of not have enough mass to stop us. Storm forward, attack the gate, you men. Attack that dervish unit. These marines up here that are they're in a bit of a tight corner. You man, kill those mod groups. The irregulars re are retreating, which is not a surprise. My lancers are stabbing this gun crew to death. General! Kill the Disraeli unit. You man, kill that Dervish unit. These mercenaries, get up here and help the Marines. They've killed their generals now. Now they must break. And they have broken. Yes! Fifth Foot Guards did a stupendous job. They held out while being attacked by multiple units of dervishes. Nice. So there goes Persia. Yep, Kabul fell to Bukit. Well, Kabul. I was about to say Kabul fell to Afghanistan. Destroy these colleges because they are naturally not going to be something that uh, will do any good. Good. You guys plan it or repair the government buildings, replenish the armies. Repair Bandar Abbas. Look, Mashad, let's get a craft workshop. Okay, Afghanistan. Let's request trade. You don't like us, do you? Well, I know what you want. Some agricultural technology. How about that? Yes. Excellent. That secured our southern flank somewhat. We've got Georgia we could go for. They're hostile. They hate us. It would bring us into war with Russia. But the leader of their country is abysmal. I suppose that could be the thing to end on. We need to capture four more regions. So ultimately, if we declared war on Georgia, that would be both of those. Plus. Do we prepare for it? <laughs> Do we just attack Russia now? Perhaps. Okay, so in Warsaw. No, we don't have any money. Persia destroyed. Afghanistan's been created. Done all this. Got a rake in Sweden. Okay, yeah, I think at the culmination of this campaign, we're going to stab Russia in the back and kill them. Or at least attack them. Take St. Petersburg. Take Moscow. France wants trade. Yeah, you know what? Okay. To normalise relations, let's do that. Hmm. 
No, please go into the city. Please go into the city indeed. Don't worry, Russia. <laughs> We're coming for you. We're going to break our alliance. Although it could cause problems with Austria. Eh. We're at the end of, towards the end of the campaign. What does it matter? we got three... Uh, four cities to capture. We're, we're about to attack Cairo. Once we attack Russia, that will be... I'd like to try and take St. Petersburg. I'd like definitely to take Moscow. Cairo, St. Petersburg, Moscow. Those are the ones. So I think ultimately, next episode, we might be ending the campaign. Uh, oh, yeah. The Barbary States. And... So we're going to knock out the Barbary States as one of our territories. And then we're going to go for Moscow. And let's put... Well, their agents tried to kill my priest. Let's try to kill him first. Ah, oh, damn it. Right, so let's get recruiting. Two winged sars, Trabant cavalry. Uh, yeah, national cavalry in here as well. If you don't have recruited enough of those, rocket troop. There we go. That's gonna be one supporting the, supporting the generation of one army. Through a bunch of elite infantry here out of Konigsberg, Vilnius, oh, household cavalry. Vilnius recruit a bunch of regular line and some light infantry because, yeah, one army is going to break for St. Petersburg, one army is going to go for Moscow. If we take Tripoli and Cairo, that will be for the end of the Polish campaign. So in Kiev, can you you can recruit? You could, in theory, recruit. Begin recruiting your own army. So even though we're attacking a city, and you don't necessarily need. Like, uh, good heavy cavalry to attack the city, I still kind of want it. Especially because we might end up attacking or being attacked by uh, other Russian armies. Ultimately, they are an ally of who? Austria. So, yeah, this could all kick off. Something like that. Mass recruiting. Cool. But we probably want to end the episode on... Mr. Tomka attacking the city of Cairo. So, thanks for watching guys, hope you enjoyed. And we'll see you next time for the destruction of the Ottoman Empire. Cheers everyone.